Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who Toy Sonic Screwdriver review video. This is the personalise your own Sonic Screwdriver set. This is a thing that exists and I'm so happy that it does because there are many people out there who have made their own custom Sonic Screwdrivers but to get an official toy with proper moulds and an actual interior that has all the lights and sounds to it is so cool. There was another kind of set of pieces that could be interacted with these but because that was sold as its own toy, I will be reviewing that as its own toy. Now, there are three Sonic Screwdrivers included with this set. I will showcase them one at a time because I don't want to have too many pieces in my hand. What do I mean by not having too many pieces in my hand? Let me just show you what this can do. So you just saw me twist it there. That's not me breaking it. That's me taking this thing apart. Yep, this is how you customise your Sonic Screwdrivers. So just to quickly show you what the core looks like, this is what we are dealing with. This is basically the bare bones of any Sonic Screwdriver toy. And if you wanted to make your own, but you don't know how to do anything with electronics or lights, just get one of these custom sets. They're, hopefully they'll be pretty cheap. I don't know how much they go for nowadays, or even the, um, the individual one as well, which is called the Transtemporal Sonic Screwdriver, which does come with its own version of this. You can literally just build around it, it's so cool. And because this is the uh, because this is a Sonic Screwdriver toy, it takes three of these small disc style batteries. I'm gonna put that to a side and we're gonna focus more on the pieces themselves. Finally, you know, since I took this thing apart. So this isn't broken again, I promise you, they're supposed to do this. The first one you just saw and you will all recognize is the pieces for the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Nothing too special about this because this is a toy we have all seen before and well a sonic screwdriver we have seen before i should say it's interesting that this is one of the options as well because it's something that people recognize if they haven't been able to get one of the original sonic screwdriver toys they could buy one of these and kind of just go with that no you're not going to get the extending feature but you have the sonic screwdriver nonetheless so i'm actually going to quickly put this back together and that will be a prime opportunity to show you how to do so so i uh, hope i'll do one piece at a time i don't want to juggle pieces so this is a bit interesting with how it's done because it's a bit finicky as well. So I'm going to try and get this right. Could be a bit difficult. So we have the bottom two pieces, uh, the handle and the end tip here. They put, uh, again, trying to put this on is a bit difficult because I don't know which way it really wants to go on. Okay, so you may, there's some pieces you may recognise more than others. So the idea is that you put it at a 90 degree angle towards each other. So you can see... That's the stitching there, which will represent where the front is, because that's where the bottom would be. And on this bottom piece, you can see this sort of nudge here, where this would open up, revealing the button. That's the front, but that's the back. So you need to set them 90 degrees from each other. So we've got the stitching here, that's going to be facing upwards. This notch piece here, that's going to be facing towards the camera. Slide it in, twist it, and now that's in place. So I might have made it look more complicated than it should be but it's not any more complicated than you think it is in real life. So just attaching the rest of the pieces here. For some of them, it doesn't really matter where it goes because you can line them up fairly easy, like these two pieces here, because they've got these lines that match up anyways, it doesn't matter. But the best way to, dis um, to show how you can get them to line up. So over here, we have two arrow pieces. So if I just pull that off, that's a good way of showing you where the alignment should be. Put that on give it a twist, and that's all together. Now for these toys, because of how it works with the core piece, if I just grab that again, you can see where the button is located, that's right there. So just pressing it down. Here we go, lights and sounds. We'll get to that later on, of course. But that needs to sit around here. Now the button is around here on the toys instead of being around here. More so for this one specifically, because you recognize this one more. But for all the other Sonic Screwdriver uh, customizable ones, it makes more sense, but that's fine. We're gonna go into the funky kind of not steampunk, it's more like a diesel punk sort of gear grinder looking sonic screwdriver. So again, to put the core down. We could twist all these pieces off. The one thing I don't like about this design in particular is the plain white handle. All these other three pieces look really good together if I can actually get them up. There we go. So these three pieces look amazing. I'm really happy with a sonic screwdriver being built that has that sort of look to it. 
but to get that white handle piece it's plain it's bare bones and it's a real shame now of course this is a toy you can customize this to be um, whatever kind of toy you want it to be you can use the handle from a different sonic screwdriver you can use the headpiece of a different sonic screwdriver and you can even make your own because that's something that people have done and that's something i have not done myself so if i get the core back once again you can see that this what i'm nudging here if i can try and move it a little bit there you go that's the button that we pressed against this button here so that's where it lines up and that is very cool now for the third one that comes with this set this sonic screwdriver this looks very old school and i think this would be a very interesting sonic screwdriver design that to uh, appear in real life there's only one thing i don't like about this one and that's the headpiece you can see the headpiece here has this sort of notch i don't know what you would call it it reminds me of the sort of thing you put in your ear to check your temperature but it's facing sideways and not upwards so whenever i go to hold this one in particular i always hold it without dropping it like this instead of like this because of where this is facing so what i'm going to do i'm going to open this up and now going to put the core inside so this is done fairly easily just need to make sure you get that right way around this one in particular because of how the handle is designed on each of these um interchangeable pieces use this one as the best example because you can see it clearly there are these holes here that's where the sound comes out of on the back of the core you can see that there is this small so you can kind of see it there but there's a small section there again with some more holes that's where the sound comes out of from the core you can line them up and just slide this in there you might have to shake it around a little bit nudge it in but it's nothing too difficult it won't get stuck anywhere now using the arrows that i did uh showed earlier get that on slide it in and there we go i think for the rest of the video for the sake of simplicity i'm going to keep the core in here so this has eight sounds to it eight and that has to be activated in the way we have to press the button up to eight times so here's one there's two pressing it twice doesn't really do anything and that makes sense because pressing it once gets you two different sounds anyway the sound is a bit muffled if you can't hear that i do apologize i'll move a little bit closer just so you can hear it so pressing it three times that's like a proper old school like trope sci-fi sound that reminds me of pressing it four times not really sure what that would represent but that's interesting nonetheless so five Another interesting sound, not thing that I can really put it to. Pressing it six times. Oh, let let go of the button there. So let me try that again. There we go. Why did it stop? Okay, that's not me letting go. That's actually something that happened with the sonic screwdriver. Okay, I've never recorded it doing that before. But yeah, that's the sort of like a that's a definitely a good scanning noise. So long as it keeps going. So pressing it seven times. That could be a near killer interesting sound effect and i think i know what the last one is as well this is going to be like a louder version of that hmm. very interesting sounds all the same hopefully you heard them if it was too loud if it's too quiet please let me know in the comment section so i know how to approach this again better in the future but yeah that is the core of the sonic screwdriver and that's how it works with the lights and sounds the lights kind of cooperate with the sounds not the other way around because the sounds are kind of more important in a way so yeah there we go that is the customizable sonic screwdriver set i think this is one of the coolest sonic screwdriver toys out there because you basically get three in one you only get one core but there's nothing stopping you from buying more cores online and yeah you basically have multiple sonic screwdrivers i think that is just so cool so there we go that is all for this video thank you all ever so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i will see you all in the next episode bye